discussing is method of slices. Here you see why that name has came, everything I am trying to explain. Here you see, I have a slope. This is my slope. I tell you, this is the angle of slope. And there is no need to try any uh, dilemma. This is the height of the slope. I can tell you, height of the slope. This is the geometry of the slope. This is the angle of slope. No angle. Okay. Now you can see now, uh, I am selecting one failure plane. Yeah. This is my failure plane. Yeah. So this is, I can write clearly. And you can tell me uh, what is the shape of the failure surface. It is a circular arc. Circular arc. Now you see what I am doing now. I am going to divide this failure surface. I need to pick up a bright color. Now you see this is one point. Thank God, I think. So minimum number of slides. Yeah. You can go beyond 6 to 12 also, you can go, there is no issue. Okay, so here you see this is my first. So here I have divided the entire sliding wedge into six equal parts. Here you can see. Regular width. Uh, this is the way uh, we use it to divide this entire length into six parts. So you can go beyond six also, uh, but minimum uh, six is required. Now you see, I try to get the mid ordinate. And remember, you see, while we are drawing the circle arc, it has its own center of rotation. This I should not forget. This is center of rotation. Now you see here uh, what is R. So there is no doubt R is radius of. This is the arc. Arc is nothing but failure surface. So we are trying to speak mathematically failure surface as an arc as an arc. So now let us discuss now, try to get the midpoint. Mid ordinate. I am not able to concentrate on either uh, what I say. Portion. So because we did So uh, now I think now so you see I can draw it. Bottom of the mid ordinate. Already designated what is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you see, uh, if you take adding width, we do it. You can ask me what is W. Let me. Take one W3, price 3. 
So now you see what is W3. You can tell me now what is W3 weight of the weight of the slides. Weight of the now you see there is an armor. Here you can see now. normal means you know perpendicular and we have a tangential and here now with this angle is alpha 3 now can anyone help me now angle is alpha 3 i have i know double you have to calculate t3 and n3 can anyone tell me so i have the resultant which is passing through the center of the slice the resultant is obviously weight of the slice so now I am resolving this weight into two components. Uh, so weight is the resultant, no doubt. What about its tangential component and normal component? So the tangential component, can anyone tell me this angle is alpha 3? No doubt this angle is alpha 3. So can anyone help me now? This angle is alpha 3. So what is T3? And uh, no doubt you see. Uh, here you see T3 is W3, W3, final cos, it is up to you. So what is a sine, what is cos? You should know what is sine theta. Sine alpha means, can anyone tell me? So here you see sine alpha means opposite to alpha is T. So and also you see adjacent to alpha is N. Uh, so anyone can have, tell me now? W3 sign, W3 sign, please tell me now. Alpha 3. What about N3? W3 cos alpha 3. So I just discussed about slice 3. What about other slices? So my question is now just T1 and 1. So tangential and normal components for the sliding wedge slice number 1. So we have slice number two. What about T two? N two. Please tell me. Anyone can help me now? Uh, so anyone ready to answer? Please uh, open your mouth. So what is T one? N one. I am telling uh, what I am expecting for slice number one. We resolve this entire weight. You know, sine alpha one. What about N one? W one cos. Alpha 1. Now, can anyone tell me what is T2? What is the plane? Sine alpha 2. So, N2 cos alpha 2. Like that, you see, I can able to calculate up to 6 number of slices because in our case, we, we consider 6 slices. So, for each slice, we need to calculate uh, N1 and T1. Now, you may ask a one question. Sir, okay, it is okay. But we don't know how to calculate W1. See, you know, we are discussing our problem is two dimensional. How to calculate W1? How to calculate W1? Can anyone help me now? Gamma 1 into gamma of soil into gamma of soil into area into 1. Because I told you many times, we assume it is two dimensional. What is the area? How to calculate area? Can anyone help me now? How to calculate area? Gamma into E into E into. So here you see this is the width. Now how to calculate area? O1 plus O2 by 2. What is O1 plus O2 by 2? This is O1 offset 1. What about this one? O2. O1 plus O2 by 2 is the mid ordinate. So I am getting weight W1. Now someone can open your mouth. Please, anyone can help me now how to calculate W2? W3. Now I know, uh, sir, how to calculate W1. I know what you are thinking inside. Just now we discussed. W1 is after all weight of the slide, slice 1. What about W2? W2 is weight of the slice number 2. Can anyone ready to tell? So I, I must tell you, this is a soil which has gamma, which has gamma. Can anyone tell me now how to calculate W2? Gamma into, gamma into, 
How to calculate the area of the slice number two? Area of the slice number two. So you can remember your days of uh, how to measure the area of irregular boundary. Uh, hope you have your background. You might be studied in your geometrics. Uh, what we call now is survey. So uh, how to calculate uh, the weight of the slice number two. So now you can tell me gamma into B into B into. So this one is O1. This is obviously O2. Next one is O3. Can anyone help me now? O2 plus O2 plus O3 by O3 by two. So I think uh, somebody is given answer also. Maybe I think it's good. Now uh, this is the way we can able to analyze the entire slope. Well, you can ask me, sir, what is meant by analysis? See, I just selected one failure surface. I divided this slice, uh, entire failure surface into slices. So equal, uh, what I say, equal width slices having a regular width. So I got, uh, see here, I decided to select six slices. You can select A to tell, it is up to you. So because, you know, for safety. Now you see, sum of resisting moment by sum of what the name moment. I'm just applying moment equilibrium. So you know how to calculate uh, resisting moment. How to calculate resisting moment. This is the figure actually related to method of slices. Sometimes uh, a student is coming and asking, sir, in examination, they ask one question about Fellini's method. We have not talked to us. Sorry to say, both are same. Fellini's method, Swedish circle method, method of slices, all remain same. All remain same. Now you see what about resisting moment? You know, moment means force into labor. Up. Here, what about resisting moment? I can tell you once again. Can you see? Later I will draw because I never hesitate to draw. This is the slope we are having. This is the failure surface. So here you see uh, when it comes to resisting force, we have a cohesion. This acting against the failure. Along the length of the along the length of the window surface, so I can write C L. This is the total resisting force due to cohesion, due to cohesion. C L R. You know how to calculate L R pi R theta by pi R theta by one eighty degrees. Now what is theta? Theta is the That is the included angle. Okay, now you can see uh, length of the arc we can able to get by using pi r theta by 180. I have cohesive force. Now, can anyone tell me how to calculate moment with respect to O? C L C into L arc into C into L arc into R. Now, someone can ask me, sir, what about another resisting force? You see, you know what I have done very well. We divided the entire, uh, I think, yes. Okay. It slice into, uh, we, we know that we resolved the, each uh, slice into two components. Uh, weight of the each slice into two components. As you know, now you can see this is a tangential force or this is normal force. Now you, you may immediately ask me, sir, this is normal force. Uh, now how you will calculate moment with respect to work? I can understand what you are thinking. But you see, uh, I have here vertical direction. Uh, now I can convert this n into horizontal direction, n into n. Fine. So can you can guess it what formula I'm using? No doubt it is Newton's law of friction as is directly proportional to n. So mu into mu into mu into n. So yeah, I want I want a horizontal force. Now my vertical force is translated to horizontal force once I am multiplying with n phi. Now I can write my n into n phi. My n into tan phi. Now uh, into into. Can anyone tell me what I have to multiply now? 
because I want movement. So when I, the moment I'm thinking about movement, I should write the planets R because I'm calculating with respect to O. Respect to O. Now, can anyone tell me what are the uh, wobble turning forces here? You see, the tangential forces, they are the wobble turning forces. So now I can write sigma T into. Now, you see what is common in the numerator and denominator? I is common. Let me say goodbye to 5. Oh, sorry. Uh, so R is common. So R is can getting cancelled. That's why we use it to see factor safety is C into length of R sigma n tan phi a t. You can ask me, sir, why you're writing sigma n? Why you're writing sigma t? A sum of normal forces. As you see, when I'm thinking about entire sliding loss, I need to add all. So n1 plus the second, right? N1 plus N2 plus N3 and so on. What about sigma t? E1 plus E2 plus E3 and so on. E6 in my case. In my case. So now you can see uh, this is about factor of C. Now you can ask me what is C? C means function. What is L? Length of length of arc. Theta. Theta is the Included angle, subtended angle. So now, uh, so try to understand what you have done. Calculation of factor of set using moment equilibrium. What is moment? Here, see, I'm calculating factor of safety. Obviously, with respect to moment, uh, so one can understand resisting moment by overturning moment. Sum of. What about resisting moment? See, I have a resistance uh, from the soil due to its cohesion and as well as due to friction. Soil slope but cohesion only. Soil having its own shear strength because of cohesion and friction. We are clear that the chest con. In the end, the simple analysis using method of slices. Cohesion and friction is fine. But you have any kind of you have a devastating force, tangential force. So see the magic here. So we calculated uh, C into length of arc. That is the total cohesive force along the trailer surface is acting at a distance. What is the distance? R. You know the radius will not be changed along the arc. Equal radius, equal radius on the left. So it is a meaningless. That's why. So I am calculating movement. Movement means force into libra. Libra means distance. Here you see I have a distance R. I have a distance. R. So C L into R plus. So is there some? I'm writing some. You just listen carefully. Some. So what about another factor which is contributing stability to the slope? That is obviously friction. But I am not able to show the friction. It is possible to show the friction by using Newton's. Can anyone say Newton's law of friction? So I just, I just. Uh, wisely converted this vertical force. You can tell me that this is vertical force. How can you say it is horizontal? That's what we have done here. We have directly proposed on the M. F is equal to mu. Mu is coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction is my soil friction. What is friction in soils? Tan phi. What is phi? Angle of internal friction. You just imagine how much extent of mechanics we are discussing. Angle of internal friction. This is about uh, factor of safety.